to Daniel 12. And uh, this afternoon I uh, have a question to ask. Alice is a two-part question. There are calamities ahead. Yes. Question is, are you ready? In Matthew 24, Jesus warned us about the end of these conditions. Oh, yeah. And that we should look for the signs of the abomination of desolation spoken of by the prophet Daniel. Oh, yes. What are the signs of the abomination of desolation? Desolation is associated with destruction. Is that so? And so, we are 
have to look for those signs. And when we see it, what did Jesus say we had to do? Find Matthew 24 there for me, brother. You see, when, when one is a servant, you got to be obedient to the leading of the master. 15. When he therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place. Whosoever read it, let him understand. Make sure you are standing in the holy place. We got the song that we love to sing. We are standing on holy ground. Make sure that you are living a righteous life. Yes. Oh, yes. A holy life. Yes. Because you know not what may happen next. Daniel 11 gives an outline of the end time conditions. And in Daniel 12, the prophet was told, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Shut up the words of this prophecy in a book and seal it. until the end when the end of days come it can be opened because I certify this to you many shall run to and fro many have you ever seen a dog and that dog get hit in the head and they start running all over the place in a confused state. Many shall run to and fro in a state of confusion. Yes, Lord. I am standing here today and I'm looking at three human beings while thousands are looking at me. But I can't see them. But they can see me. Oh, yeah. And hear me. Oh, yeah. Because of what? Technology. Because knowledge has been increased. Oh, yeah. There are some glasses. That the doctors are prescribing now. Reading glasses. And I'm inside here. And it's nice and clear. There was a time when I step outside, I gotta take this off and put on the shades. Then it came up with a thing wherein it has another lens on it that you flip it up here, and when you go outside, you flip it down and you get shades. Now, wear this one outside, and as soon as the bright light hit me, it turns technology knowledge has been increased I see some computers over there with big keyboards and monitors I got a computer right here in my hand it has keyboard and it has a monitor and does everything that those over there do right here in my hand and this is the iPhone 4S an outdated phone so can you think about the new phones now
Revelation 16 warned us about false prophets and false teachers in the end times. First and second Timothy chapters 4 warns us about false teachers and apostate pastors. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hold on to Matthew 24 there, brother. We're going to work today. Mm. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Second Timothy chapter 3. Last week we were here talking about the violence and the wickedness of man's heart. And today we are here to continue talking about the violence and the wickedness of man's heart. Two army recruiters were at their offices minding the army business. The gunman walked up and took their lives and drove several miles to our army base and took two more lives sent some to the hospital and one died yesterday making five lives he took there have been more suicides what you call murder suicides this week in the island of Jamaica it is recorded for a 24 hour period over six have been shot dead. And in New York City, it is recorded how many shootings took place and how many were fatalities over a 24-hour period. And the report is coming in from various cities across the world. Because the Bible already warned us that in these days, Perilous times shall come. Everyone is up in arms about the Supreme Court ruling in the United States which makes America number 19. In lawfully recognizing marriage between a man and a man and a woman and a woman but they are not understanding that America had no choice in the matter because in the end days perilous time shall come because man is going to be without natural affection. Yes, Lord. Woman to woman, man to man, working that which is unseemly. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So America had no say in the matter. The Supreme Court justices had no say in the matter. They were just instruments being used for prophecies to be fulfilled. Men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covicious. And if you 